Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in Frosty City. We're just taking the cable car back up and around the mountain. The castle that we worked on last episode is behind us, the dams are behind us. There's the hot water, the heating plant that we've got, and we're heading around. We're going to get the view of our city. Now, we have about 10,000 people away from hitting 28,000, which is the next target that we're aiming for. Here comes the city on the left. What a view, what a view. So we are going to work on a real high density, um, high density residential and possibly some commercial area to really try and give our city a boost of people. Let's sort of jump out of this view for the moment. There we go. So we are going to work on, this is where we were last time, the rickety bridge, the damn cold park and this lovely castle that we've got all the camping stuff and things in. Check out last episode if you want to see that. We've got this little section here. Now, this section here did have... Oh, they're lacking water. Okay, well, we can fix that for them. This this section here... Uh, yeah, don't need heating pipes yet, but we're going to add them in anyway. There we go. This section here has got a lot of pollution in because it did have all our incinerators and stuff. But I've removed those. That pollution will start to go. And this is going to be a real nice, compact, high-density area. We're going to pick... I might end up with some one-way roads in here of some sort. Should we have, like, a medium road going through the middle? What have we got here? Four-lane, divided lane with four parking. Okay, let's just have a look at what that is. I don't know what that is. Apart from the spelling being a bit atrocious. Yeah, something a bit different. Let's go for that through the middle. We're going to have the connection. I don't want everybody coming in and out at the same place. That's what I'm going to try and avoid. I'm going to go here. Can that go straight through? Yes, it can. And then I wanted one over here as well. We've got this connected. Yeah, I know you're not getting heating. That's because it's a water pipe. Um, I might have that through there as well. And then we'll just sort of see how it goes. And if that gets a bit busy, we'll we'll do the usual with that. Might have a little roundabout on there. But let us grab um, these ones here. And we're going to make this super high density. So we're going to use up all the space. Oh, that's going to slightly overlap. It's almost like it's not straight, but it is. Yeah, we'll live with it. We'll live with it how it is. So let us grab this one here. And we're going to try and get in here as much stuff as possible. And I'm just thinking, are we going to connect all of these roads to everything? Or are we going to have like one road coming in the middle? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So let's just run these down here first. We'll sort of go like this. There we go. We'll get all of those in. And that one. And I'm wondering whether actually we could connect these to this over here as well. Like that. There we go. And then we might just do the same over here. That's going to be a bit close, isn't it? So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to here. And then we're going to connect them. Just to give people another way of getting to where they need to go. Please don't jump and connect to that. <laughs> it's not going to do it, is it? All right, let's bring... Uh, there's space there. Surely you can do it, please. I don't know. We'll just go to there instead. How about that? There we go. That's fine. That fills that up. Excellent. Very high density. And then we'll go this way for this one. And we just take that right to the end. That's going to be too near that junction there, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll bring this one out this way. There we go. That's good. Uh, maybe just a couple of little small roads out there. Just to get that last little bit. There we go. Excellent. Should we connect that one to there? If I have that come out like that and then go across. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then that little bit out there. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Good, good, good. So that's going to fill that up. Now, what sort of transportation options do we have around here? That's a question. We haven't done any metro or anything like that yet. 
because we've been sort of trying to stick with the snow theme. We've got the trams that run around over here. I'm wondering whether I can connect to the trams and have like a tram loop. Could I have a tram loop around the outside? Around the outside, around the outside. Could I do that? Sort of up here. Over there. Where would it go? I mean, it could connect up to that. I tell you what, let's get the people in. And then we might just work on a, a tram loop thing. So in the middle here, I wanted to get some of these nice little wintry parks that we've got. We've got some cool ones here. I like the snowman park a lot. And that's got a huge area of effect. So we're going to add that one off of this road here. In fact, we're going to have two of those right there. In fact, we're going to have four of those along here. Yep, I know you're all complaining about stuff, but do not worry. And we've probably got some monuments type stuff we could pop in here. Ah, oh, snow monument things. How have I forgotten about all of these? Ice hockey arena. 250,000. Flipping it, we can't afford that. Ski resort. Oh, some stuff for the hills. Snow castle restaurant. What? How have I missed all of this? How have I missed all of this? <laughs> that has to go over here, doesn't it? On here. That has to go in there. We get a little... Oh, it's got to be roadside, though. Okay, well, we'll think about that another time. But that is fantastic. Uh, what have we got? Spa Hotel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We've got so many good things. Sleigh ride. Oh, what's this one here? Snowboard Arena. I've just not seen any of these before. Santa Claus's workshop. What? Uh, what's this one here? The Christmas tree. And Igloo Hotel. Now that sounds cool. What does that say? £200,000. Looking for something a bit different. Love the Igloo Hotel. Because spending their nights in Igloo is made of ice. Oops. And admire the dark night sky in the hotel yard. I feel like I want to spend 200000 on that. And squeeze that into here. Go that way. How about this way? Yeah, I'll go this way. There's a bit of a drive to get to it. Oh, look at those. Look at those. Oh, that is nifty. That is nifty. People are definitely going to come and see those. And then when we've got some more money, we can add some more of the other stuff in as well. Right, let's... I'm going to fill this up with uh, heated water pipes and I'll be back. Well, we're probably going to need some more heating around here, but we'll get to that. Now, I'm thinking of making this area up here um, a leisure district. This little section here. That's the park one. Don't want that. So if we grab this one and just sort of follow along these roads here, because we've got this sort of igloo park thing going on, there we go. And if we sort of fill this in. Yeah, we can make this all good for tourism. Zip. There we go. Excellent. And let's find the one we want. So that's this one here. Tourism. Or should we say leisure? Let's do leisure. Let's do leisure. Yeah, there we go. Something good for the people in our city to come and enjoy in that area there. And then we're going to put in um, high density around here like that. We're going to have some low density around the igloo. Igloo! Like that. There we go. And then, yeah, low density there and there. And then we'll have some high density around the outside. Probably absolutely no interest in people moving in yet. No, there isn't. But we're going to change that. Don't you worry. Uh, let's fill all of these internal pieces in. All high density, which is what we want. Let's use this one here much quicker. Zip. We can grab all of that. We can grab all of that. I think that is everything. Yep. So nobody moving in just yet. We're making money. That's fine. So let us drop our... Let's drop that down to 10. Uh, drop that down to 10. Drop that... Oh, this one down to 10. That's the one. That can stay at 12. That can go to 10, 10, 10. Yep. And then hopefully, there look, we see, we'll start getting some demand for people to move in. And hopefully they'll choose this area over here. Now, to help them do that, I do want to carry on with the trams. So we are going to upgrade this road here. to. Add, oh, there we go. Some people are moving in. Well, we could do monorail around here, couldn't we? 
No, let's stick with the trams. I like the trams. I, it, in my mind, it sort of fits fits with the theme that we have. Um, so, what road did we use with the trams over here? Uh, we had that small one, but I want a big one. What is the biggest tram road we've got? Four-lane tram boulevard, boulevard with bike. Six-lane road with dedicated tram. Yeah, that's the one. So, if we sort of upgrade that, will that connect? It will. Perfect. So, we can go round here. This bit here will come... Whoa. Saving, I think. We'll come off and then join up over here again. And then we'll go along here. Is that going to connect up to there? Yes, it does. Excellent. That's good. Uh, and then this one over here. I just want tram tracks. Tram track. That's it. So we can come off of here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, okay. Let's... Oh, this is going to be difficult. Space already occupied. I thought it would sort of come at an angle just to here. All right, can we draw a tram track in the middle here? Like that. And then connect that up to here. Yep, there we go. That's good. I want it to go right around here. So this these roads are probably going to have to move down. Just to give us a bit of space for the trams. Yep, that's cool. Let's grab this. Um, yeah, let's put that one on and just see what we can do. It's like jumping all over the place. Let's not toggle road bending, toggle node snapping. Yeah, there we go. So it stops trying to grab the nodes. And we're sort of going to curve that yeah, along here. Down here. And will that connect in there? No. If I anarchy that into there, let's get node snapping back on. What will that do? Yeah. Totally mess up the junction. That's what that will do. Is there any way of me fixing that? Oh, there is. Look at that. I did move it mod and I tweaked it one little block round to the left in sort of a diagonal twist thing. And then that goes right into there. Brilliant. And we can put a load of trees along that as well. Oh, yeah, there we go. Shops are moving in. Perfect. People are moving in. It's going to get busy here for a while. So let us get a tram route going round here. And... Do we want the tram route going up into here? No, they can walk up there, can't they? So let's have tram stops like every other. Go a little bit further. Every other spot along here. Yep, and then we'll have it stop in there. And we can put some paths in. Stop along there. And this is a dedicated tram bit as well. The only place it's going to cause a problem is here. But we'll worry about that later. Mm, do I want a tram stop here? I think we will, and we'll see how it goes. Because everybody gets excited and upgrades. There we go. Uh, yep, we'll leave that as it is. And then... Do I want to connect these tram routes to this somehow? This one here. It could come down there, connect to there. Huh. Let's have a quick look at the tram routes and just see how they're doing. So tram line 5 we've just done. Oh, that's going to be going around this place here, Chestnut Square. Need to rename that, don't we? Let me pick a name. So that's going to be number five. Come here. Get out of that one. Tram line five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Hashtag five. Uh, let's pick a name. Somebody who supports me on Patreon. Let us have a look. Nutty. There we go. The Nutty Loop. <laughs> Excellent. So we've got the nutty loop going around there. Let's just put a few paths in. Oh, we're making a decent amount of money, aren't we? Which is fantastic. Even though I've dropped the tax rate. Let's drop this again to 9%. See so if we can really encourage people to move in here. And I wanted to put some paths in here to help these guys get in and out. So let's not look at the budget screen, because that's not the screen that I want. Let's turn off anarchy. So we've got... Yeah, let's pop some paths in here. We're going to turn off road guidelines. There we go. I'm going to have like paths off of this main road here. 
Uh, there's a stop there. Would they walk and get on that stop there? It looks like it. That'll connect nicely. Uh, these are all connected over there. We could... Yeah, that's fine. Let's just run one from here to here. Okay, that wants to jump across there. That's a bit weird. I've got snapping on. There we go. Let's undo that and do that again. Want it just to move down a bit. Connect to both if possible. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. Then we want it to connect to here as well. So we just go like that. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. They can walk along there. I mean, it's all pretty much filled up now, isn't it? I could add one more path there to connect across to that. Yeah. We'll end up with one little shop. I'm sure in there. Let me fill that up. Excellent. Anywhere else we could put piles in? I think that'll do. I'm not sure whether this is tram only. Oh, they can walk down it. Look, there we go. So they will come and switch and come over here. That's fantastic. I might just add... The park residence is gone. I've heard they've been complaining recently. Well... That will teach you to complain. Let's just grab this here. And we are going to have... There we go. We're going to have a path in there so people can walk across if they want to. And there's crossings here. I don't need to add any more crossings. Oh, look at it with the snow. This is great. This is great. What's our population? 20,000. We only need 8,000 more. Where's our little... Uh... There it is. Our little camping thing. <laughs> it's going to be so noisy around here, isn't it? With all of these shops and things. So we just want people to move in. We want this area for people to move in. And they're, they're not moving in just yet. Right, the tax rate is down to six. Look at all the money we're making. Wow. And also, I said we don't have enough heating, do we? So let us... We need to put in another geothermal heating plant. Oh, we've got not enough water at all. Um, Okay. Let's just have a look. Yes. Running short on water. Let's get that up to 125. That'll be fine. How's electricity doing? That's doing okay. Yep, everything else is doing fine. Let's just close that down. So, if we go over to here. This is where we've been building our geothermal plant. We're going to add one more into the mix. So, let's grab our industry road. Bring that out a bit. Yeah, I don't want it to do that. That is for sure. Can I do this? Can I do... Forces the ground to come up. Yeah, that's fine. And then add it in there and see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. Excellent. I might just do that and that and make that the same height as that. There we go. Brilliant. So we've got a third one. We're going to be making plenty. Now, let's attach that to the grid. Where's the little... Oh, the attach... What? Okay. <laughs> the attachment's right in the middle of those pipes there. we have to sort of change that. Uh, can you just let me draw in a pipe there? To there. And then that one... It's not letting me jump over here. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. Then we'll go from that one to that one. There we go. All attached. Yep, excellent. Plenty of heating availability. These roads are getting covered in snow. I think we need more snow plows. I might even put a snow plow down here. I think that might be a good idea. Let's have a look at that. Snow dump. Road maintenance depot. I don't think we have one of those either. Can I squeeze one of these in here somewhere? There we go, that'll do in the city down there and send out some more trucks hopefully to deal with the road still not many people moving in uh, we actually have more need for commercial i think we need to fulfill the need for commercial first before anybody else is going to be moving in so let us do that all around the outside here we're going to fill it with loads of commercial there we go and as that starts to fill up hopefully then we will see a rise in our need for residential. There we go. Let's get that one there and fill this bit in. Excellent. There we go. Loads of commercial moving in. Do you know what? Now that this is filling in, 
I actually think this would be perfect as an area with green housing in. So I think I'm going to redo this and have them all move back in again. Okay, people are moving in, which is fantastic. And what I'm going to do here is just to help things move along a bit, we're going to put this junction as a stop. So these cars have to wait. Everything here has a priority getting in and out, uh, which is good. I don't think we need to do anything at the other end. And I may just do a similar thing here. I think that's the one I want. So you've got to stop. You've got to give way. That'll be the tram. And you got to stop as well so everything coming in here yeah can come in and out super quick not hold up any of our junctions excellent and i might just do the same for these little side ones as well like this one here so that would be uh, give way is good i think stops better give way they'll sort of take turns stop they'll just wait until there's a gap so it just keeps things going. So I'm going to do a stop on that one there. We really want to keep the main street humming. So there we go. Got any side? Oh, you've got side streets all along here, haven't we? So I mean, these could be give way down here. That'd be all right. There we go. There we go. They're not too busy anyway, so that's fine. Anything around here we've done. None of that's connected. That's fine. None of this is connected. We've got this big one here. So this is give way. Some of them, he just went up, turned around there and came back again. Seriously now, are you going to be doing that? I don't think so. There's not a turning around spot in there, is there? No. So I've got no idea why he did that, but there we go. It's going to be busy, but that's just the way it is. Do you know what? That's going to have traffic lights. I think that's going to work much better there. I mean, it's a shame that junction is so close to that roundabout there, but... Sometimes a city doesn't have perfect planning. That's just the way it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. What? I've had a few comments about this junction not being the best thing ever, but wow. Mamma mia. I know what it is, is they're not going into the junctions when they could be. They're like, yeah, we need this on, on all of these junctions around here. My goodness me. Look at that sudden influx of people. That is absolutely nuts. We may have to change this junction. It, it isn't really working out the way I would hoped it would. I mean, we can set that to give way so these guys get priority. Look, they should stop. In fact, we're going to change that to stop. So then this will just keep moving. And that will build up a bit. Then it's coming down here. You've got priority, but you're sort of lane switching and doing all sorts of weird things. We'll see how it goes. I mean, one of the things I do enjoy is like chucking a load of stuff down and then fixing the problems afterwards. <laughs> we might find we need to do that. Also, they're coming from over here, aren't they, to get round to the tourism area. We can easily fix that with like a cross the water tram sort of connection. Yeah, I think we're going to clear this little section out here. These houses. Let's just get rid of those. You can move out. And we're going to have a little tram stop in here and try and get it up and over the, the train line and across the uh, across the river. I think that would be quite cool. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So if we go for just the tram track and just sort of, excuse me, you're going to have to go. And if you don't go soon, you'll be gone. There we go. And this will have to have a little turning section. Which way is it coming? Down there and back this way. So actually, we might just need to move that a little bit further out. Yeah, that'll do. Stop snapping to things. Yeah, if we go there. Then this can go like this. Let's grab that. Let's turn off that. So if we go out there. Uh, like that. Turn off the snapping on here. Let's try that again. Like that. And then like that. In fact, if we go there and then make it straight. Yes. Is that crossing over? So that's going to go up and along there. That's going to go round. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then what we can do... Oh, I should have made that one way. Let's make that one way. And then that'll solve the problem. There we go. 
Uh, that way, that way, that way, that way, and that way. Yep, there we go. So that'll come in, go around, and go back out again, and that's fine. And then I'm going to redo that bit there so it's nice and straight. That, that. Thank you. There we go. Still put a wiggle in it. Right, can we get up and over this train line? Yeah, might need to delete that and go straight up. Slope too big. Hmm. I'm assuming I can't go underground. Maybe I can go underground. Okay, where's level? I've no idea where level is anymore. Yeah, I don't think I can go up and a... What? What the heck? No. <laughs> Please don't do things like that. Okay, we're level. Let's see if we can go over. Oh, under. Huh? And then back up again. Oh, right, that's weird. That isn't even with anarchy on, look. And it's done that. So, I tell you what we're going to do then. When the train's gone past, we're going to make the train go over that. I think that's probably the safest bet. <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? That was just weird. Uh, double track. That one there, nice and straight. So, let's go page up. Oh, my page up and page down are acting odd. Look. Oh, I know what it is. I'm a numbskull. I've still got this on, haven't I? Oh, well, we'll have the train go over anyway. And go back into that. Yep, there we go. That's fine. We got there in the end. Say no more. Biff is a numbskull. Who said that? So let's go straight across there. And then I wanted it to connect down here, actually. But it's sort of coming in over there. But that's going to make that super busy. Yeah, let's change that. That's not going to go there at all. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll take that one there. I want it to connect here. So we're going to come straight out there. Curve it around like this. Go straight across there. In fact, let's put another curve in it. Just a touch. Straight across there. And then another curve. And we're done. We're done. All right, let's put on the thing. There we go. Excellent. So now they can come and jump on there. And get over to here. So let's get the... Add a stop. So drag and add a new line. Yes, please. We want to add a new stop right there. So it'll come round and go round the route. Yeah. Oh, it has to cross over, doesn't it? Yeah, whatever. We'll just have to deal with that. There's not going to be that many coming. And then we want them to be able to get onto the thing. So can I add a path in there? And yes, we've managed to add a path in there, which is fantastic. As yet, I've not seen anybody come over here and use it, but it might take them a while to work out that it's there. But with the buses coming through here, uh, the train station not too far away somewhere, lots of ways to walk into here. I'm pretty sure soon we're going to get people using this and coming over to our new area. So what do you reckon to that? I think that's an episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. And check out the other video on the screen. It's probably... Look, traffic's going down there already. It's probably another challenge video. Um, so tell me what you think about that. And I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.